What wheels are you using? This is the question I hear over and over every time I post a clip of doing a slide. So I'm going to answer that question right now and the answer may surprise you. It is the wheels you have right now. I'm going to tell you how to use your surf skate and slide with any wheels you have. Now before I get into that, I just want to give a little plug to the new button that's showing up in my YouTube channel. There's a thanks button there that allows you to make a small monetary contribution to the channel. My channel operated at a loss in its first year and that's fine. I'm hoping that it'll continue to grow and maybe get to the point where I'm at least breaking even. If you find this top secret tip helpful in getting your slides down and want to say thanks, that's a way to do it and it'll give you a highlighted comment right at the top as well. And with that, let's get into the tutorial. Hey guys, I'm here in my basement because I want to give a demonstration. One of the things or one of the questions that I'm asked most often, especially when I do any kind of sliding maneuvers, is what kind of wheels am I using? And this bugs me a little bit, I'll be honest, because really the wheels don't matter. You can slide on any wheels. It's a matter of technique. Once you've got your technique down, then you might start to be able to develop some preferences of the type of wheels that you like, that you find more consistent, that slide a little bit more controlled for you. But the first thing you need to do to slide is to practice your technique. And I wanted to show you an example using pretty much the worst sliding setup you could possibly have. So here I have the Carver um, Roundhouse Concave Wheels. They're big, they're sticky. People complain about these being really difficult to slide. And I'm in my basement on gym, gym mats. So this is a really challenging situation to try and slide wheels. But I wanna show you that if you use the right technique, then you're gonna be able to slide. It's all about unweighting properly. <laughs> hey. Hi, what do you want me to do? What I want you to do is a little challenge. So we got the carver with the really sticky roundhouse wheels on the gym mat. I want to see if you can slide it like a snap, like just get those wheels to slide. <coughs> nope. Almost had it. <laughs> Good try. Good effort. So first, let's look at what happens if I'm just standing straight up, feet over the bolts, and I twist my body. No movement whatsoever. What you need to do to slide is shift your weight to your front wheels so that your back wheel is unweighted. All your weight is, not all your weight, but most of your weight coming over your front tracks. That means that when you start to twist, you have a little bit more room. So it's still not great. Keep in mind, this is really challenging conditions, but you can start to get some movement by doing the right motions to unweight your back wheels as you initiate your slide. Now to help that even more, where you're really gonna see a difference, is to make sure that you're doing it at the right time. So you wanna start carving into your slide and shifting your weight before you initiate. So like last time, I'm gonna shift my weight forward so it's on my front leg, but this time, I'm gonna start carving. So that's gonna put all the pressure onto the two wheels on this side which means the back wheels, the wheels opposite of what you're seeing right now are unweighted as well. So you combine the weight on this leg, the weight on these wheels, and then when you do your twist, you see how easily that moved, even on this really tricky situation. So before you go and spend a ton of money trying to get wheels that you think will help you slide better, just practice your unweighting. So again, when you initiate your slide, you're gonna to shift towards your front wheel, you're gonna get onto your edge, and then twist. Our front side, do the same thing, except we get onto the heels, shift to the front leg. And 
on the technique. So by shifting my weight to my front leg, starting to carve so that the weight comes off the back wheels, it's as easy as just. <laughs> All right, Polly. Now see if trying that technique, if you can do it. <laughs> well, it slid. It did slide. It was scary. Try it again. Jeez. A little bit. So now that you can do that, when you try it like on a smooth concrete surface, yeah. it's really going to work well. All right. Thanks. <laughs> if you're interested in pow surfing and surf skating and river surfing, lake surfing, pretty much any kind of surfing, you might be interested in the other content on my channel. So I'd encourage you to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.